What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. Now, I get asked a lot what sort of atomic shop items are worth buying and which ones I use the most, so I thought I would make a video covering my top recommendations and some of their many really cool uses. But real quick before we do that, if you're interested in helping to support this channel, you would be my hero and you can do that through Patreon or by buying me a coffee. Those links are in the description below. And of course, join us over on Instagram if you like, at KikiBeePlays, we would love to see you there. Now, I do want to preface this video by saying that I am by no means trying to encourage you wonderful folks to go out and buy atoms. If you want to and you can, that is great, but some people don't want to, and for others, it's just not in their budget. However, there are a fair number of atoms to be earned for free, through the various character, social, combat, world challenges, all that, and each season has, I think, 2,000 atoms? in total that can be earned via the scoreboard, so there are definitely ways to earn currency in-game that don't have to cost you a thing. So my first and probably one of my favorite items uh, is the vault catwalks. Let's say I've got something like this little loft and I want to put stairs up there. I don't want them sticking out in the middle of a floor, which is the only way that we can actually legitimately do this in the game, right? Except it is not. Because if you have the vault catwalks, you can make a catwalk coming out from one of the walls, attach stairs to it, then delete the catwalks, and you can put your stairs anywhere you damn well please, including just floating in midair if you really want to do that. This is what that can look like when it's all done. Here you've got a cozy little loft with the stairs off to the side and out of the way. Now another thing you can use them for is floating walls in places where you can't necessarily normally put walls. You can snap walls above and below the catwalks, and it's great for doing all kinds of building tricks. And finally, a really great simple basic use for this is just using them to adjust or offset your foundations, which you can do by as little as a quarter of a floor using the vault catwalk pieces. It's just handy sometimes. Next up, any building set that comes with its own roofs. These are fantastic for making floating builds and doing all kinds of other stuff. Now that would include the Enclave, the Order of Mysteries, the Brotherhood, Greenhouse, Log Cabin, and Haunted House. I think that's all of them. But basically any roof set that's got multiple types of roof within one category like that. So here's an example of how you would actually use that. If you put this roof up here, you want it to float. You can't actually remove the wall that's underneath it. However, if you go in afterwards and you change it to a different style and a different type, you can then remove the wall from underneath it that's supporting it. And if you want, you can attach more roofs to it afterwards. So you can use this trick to create uh, pavilions and gazebos and floating buildings with floors. This is how people do those UFO builds that you see. All kinds of stuff. Next up, the colored wallpaper set. I'm a big fan of this set because it's got such a great variety of colors in it. The colored wallpaper set includes the white, the orange, the teal, the dark blue, the light purple, and the light pink. The red, the lighter blue, and the yellow ones were Atomic Shop freebies at some point, so if you already have those and you get the colored wallpaper set, you've got a full rainbow. Now, this is really great because it coordinates with some of the really like difficult to work with flooring, uh, like some of the carpeteria floorings. And of course, they look amazing on my chevron walls. If you haven't seen that video, go and check that out when you're done. You can do some really cool stuff with these colors. All right, next up is a more recent favorite, but definitely a great one. The Wavy Willard letters are just fantastic for making signs that are a little bit more noticeable. We have all the neon letters and the Greek letters and all of those things, and I love like mixing and matching the different 
light up letters with the Greek letters to create, you know, really junky looking signs, but they're very small and kind of hard to notice sometimes. So if you want something that really grabs attention, the Wavy Willard ones are great. All right, next up, um, the makeshift Mega Mansion is fantastic. It's cheap to build materials wise. It's really easy on the budget for the size and it's got lots and lots of space in it. It takes about two, two and a half percent of your build budget in total, which is fantastic for a structure this size. Uh, it's got three big rooms. It's got a big deck here on the middle level, a little porch up above. It's super cool. All right, and last, I just want to cover a few of my sort of decor recommendations. We're just going to group them together. The clean bathroom stuff is awesome, especially if you have any of the clean bathroom items from previous scoreboards. The clean shower is a great addition to that collection and, you know, just allows you to finish off your bathrooms in your houses a little bit nicer. Uh, the artificial tree lamp is a real favorite of mine. I think I use it in just about every build these days. It looks great, whether it's junky or modern. Plants, lots and lots of plants. Plants make a house look like a home, and there are so few in the base game that it's really nice to have some extras. A refrigerator is a great investment. If you like homey builds and you want to have a kitchen, you really, really need a fridge in there. You can substitute with some other things and make them sort of look like fridges, but there's no real substitute for a fridge. All right, the Nuka Cola display rack is a solid favorite of mine and has been for a while. If you haven't seen some of the things that you can actually do with the Nuka Cola display rack, there's a lot more than just putting out a display rack and sticking some Nuka Cola in it. So check out my merging video and that'll show you some of the really cool stuff that you can do with this rack. The Thanksgiving display case is another favorite of mine. Uh, I use this in pretty much all of my kitchens and sometimes in my bathrooms. You can put kitchen related junk on it. You can put cleaning supplies in a bathroom and toilet paper and things like that. It looks great. It holds way more items, takes up a lot less floor space than the standard display cases. It's just really good all around. The Thanksgiving tables are great because we don't have a lot of food and kitchen related decor items that we can put down on tables to make a house actually look like it's more lived in. So the Thanksgiving tables can be really cool for that. The kids table is also great. It's got a more casual look than this one and it's got a turkey in the middle of it. So it's just, it's awesome. Now the Red Rocket Diner set is another one. I've had this for a long time and I have used it so much. It's great. The individual pieces are great on their own as well, not just with the whole set. So the stools or the tables, really, really good by themselves. The benches for the booths. And the counters here make a really, really good kitchen counter in a more modern build. And the cash register vendors are, again, another favorite, especially if you're doing a more commercial type build, a shop or a diner or something, and you don't want one of those huge, hideous vending machines sticking out like a sore thumb. However, there are things that you can do to hide those huge, hideous vending machines and make them look a lot nicer. And I will be showing you some of those tricks in an upcoming video. But these cash registers are a great addition to any kind of shop or diner or restaurant build. They come with four different styles and they look fantastic. That's it for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed and that you've turned on notifications so that you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can check out the Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee links down in the description below. Join us over on Instagram at KikiBPlays. We would love to see you there. And of course, as always, folks, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.